there are two attorneys, a black and a white attorney who own an uh, office that get this very rich client who's accused of rape. Race is about race. That's all I have to say. The big conflict is how do we work in the society that's diverse without being in other people's face. It's very male dominated world and I have a female opinion which is sometimes overlooked but in this play it kind of comes to the forefront. This play is a bit of a mystery. There's a bit of a whodunit. There's a bit of a thriller in it. Uh, the story will be going in one direction and then you'll get a 180 piece of information and you'll have to turn around and look the other way. People are going to talk about what happened. That's why I don't want to talk about the plot because it's not even so much what happened in the story, but um, what happened to the people. What just happened when these people tried to talk about race? At one point during the um, meet and greet, Richard at, went around the audience and asked them, uh, when you hear the word race, what do you, what's the first thing to come to mind? And they all had different um, words. And mine is survival. Uh, of course, Jack and Henry would love to survive if they could get this case with this rich man. That's going to give them a nice pocket. Uh, the, the accused wants to survive this accusation of rape. And the young intern, she wants to survive this experience of being in a law firm and hopefully go out and become better. So I, I think the word survive is really strong in his writing and in what he's doing here. Well, I'm a young lawyer, um, and this is one of the first cases that we're taking that I'm actually involved in. And I challenge my teachers. I'll just put it like that. Each of these four characters has a blind spot that uh, they think that they are immune to something, but they can see clearly everybody else has this problem. Those four blind spots hit and everybody on this stage looks prejudiced. Everybody looks racist and everybody uh, grapples with trying to talk about things that you shouldn't talk about. That's the, uh, the problem for me, uh, playing the character in a sense, and what Charles Strickland's problem is. He's got blind spots about him. He does things that he doesn't think twice about, and that's what's uh, got him into the hot seat. Sometimes when you're a bright-eyed, bushy-tailed <laughs> young law lawyer in an office, you don't really speak your mind that much, and that's something that women don't, we're not taught to do but I think sh this character finds her journey in speaking up for herself and for the women who are voiceless in this play. The story isn't the reason you come. You come to watch people talk about race openly, dangerously, specifically, and from uh, multiple viewpoints that aren't often heard on stage, and it is juicy. No, I just think, I think they should come and see uh, race because it's time to look at race from a different angle. As an art actor, not only are you hungry for projects, but I find at least like race. Uh, I want to do shows that, that really challenge me. This one's scary because it is a loaded, it's a loaded subject. We have two white actors, two black actors, and the very rehearsal hall, in a sense, has the same charge in it as this um, uh, legal office. I think it's important for audiences to see this play because I think it would make people have discussions afterwards. And I think it will make them think about race and power in America in a different way. And our prejudices, no matter if you're black or white, rich or poor, and the way we just make snap judgments about people and things. And maybe we should try to deprogram ourselves of that. This is a nice piece of theater in that, yes, it's going to make you uncomfortable, but yes, it's very funny. It's an intellectual drama with some comedy thrown in. It is actually very funny. For all the seriousness of the subject and everything, there's a lot of wonderful, dark humor in it. There are things said in this play that you would not, you're like, did they just say that? Oh my God, that is hilarious. It'll enlighten you. Comedy does things that drama can't sometimes. And that's how Mammoth works.